Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is May 30th, 2022. And today is Monday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the markets are rallying across the board. Almost everything is rallying as a short squeak is happening. I'm looking at the major economic events of the day. Nothing scheduled for today. And in fact, today is a national holiday in the United States. It's Memorial Day. So most of the markets in the U.S. will be closed or affected as a result of it. Now, looking at the forex symbols, we're looking at the euro, the British pound, and the Australian dollar all continue to rise versus the U.S. dollar and strengthen. Now, looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq continue to climb that inverse relationship with the U.S. dollar. Looking at commodities, gold pretty much steady, with oil breaking out higher than 115 to 116. Looking at the stocks, they rally across the board. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin breaking higher finally after a long route. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go. We're looking at the EURUSD at a daily chart. And so you can see we broke it even higher than our previous low, broke out even from the 30-day moving average. And we're right there. We're about hitting previous support, subsequent uh, resistance at this 107.94. We're inching closer to it, about 40 pips away. Looking at a weekly chart, that's about where we are. Okay, at this area, we should be hitting some resistance this area. Okay, now looking at the GBP USD also bouncing nicely on a daily chart, You're also breaking above that 30-day um, moving average and trading all the way up to 126.30 ish level from our 21 area. So this has gotten stronger as well. And lastly, looking at the Australian dollar also getting stronger at 71.78, but still not as strong as I would have expected it, considering how much the Aussie dollar was relatively strong versus the US dollar and didn't get hit. Just comes to show you it's less volatile. GBP is probably the most volatile out of all of them, uh, but the dollar is getting weaker versus most of the pairs as we're seeing it happening uh, consistently across the board. Now looking at commodities, gold just steady at 1863, not really doing much. However, looking at crude oil, look at this, breaking above our 115-ish area to 116. We just hit it this morning, we're tracing just now, but a nice little breakout and that's still pretty strong on the upside. Now looking at the Dow Jones first and then the NASDAQ, Dow Jones trading at 33,336, a decent climb from our 35,000 debacle. Okay, I mean, this has gone down from our highs of 36,000 down to 31,000, 30,500 ish level, and then coming back to this area. Now, I do imagine the next two to three months, which is June, July, August, which are the summer months where we generally don't trade with so much volume and so much intensity. I do expect it to taper off at a certain point, but just note that at 34,000, we have decent resistance ish area. So if it does climb as far as that, that's where I'd be looking to kind of unload some of my lungs here after this massive bounce. I'm looking at the US tech, which is the NASDAQ also bouncing quite nicely on the back of Dell beating its earnings, which is what happened last week. So, I mean, ultimately it is bouncing. It's off of those uh, lows of 11,600. We're nice 1,200 points above it. So that's a decent climb, but we've got to steer away. We've got to continue going in this direction. Now, looking at the individual stocks, Apple raised nicely to 149. Microsoft, Facebook first closed that gap. Remember, that was the gap we were talking about. 177 it looked like it was closing the gap, and sure enough, it did close the gap. Microsoft climbing to 273, still shy of our $300. Um, let's call it target rate. I mean, you know, I mean, we're just looking at a, a daily chart, and when we hit as far high as 347. So, I mean, it's still a decent um, retracement from our highs. Looking at Amazon, did climb a little bit, but still showing weakness. Okay, so we may see further weakness in Amazon. Tesla also climbing to 758. JP Morgan as well to 131. So we're seeing a lot of strength across the board. So that's really very important to note when you're not just seeing it in one area. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, it's dead, 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 and then... 30,614. Now we're still in the range, okay, between our 
upper range and lower range as we've been you know sharing this um, pretty much between 28,300 to 30,000 ish level so we're still in that range okay that's probably the best graph to see that range that represents where we've been trading between 30,600 and 28,700 mostly but we're at that top of the range and so if there is going to be some follow through here and some push to the upside we may break out for the finally for a long long time since the beginning of the middle of may since we've hit this low of 25,000. so this may be a point where we actually break out higher so keep that in mind as this unfolds this is fred razak i wish you guys a great trading day thank you